Hi everyone! In this video I'll describe the new Kinogram feature that will be available in version 096. This is a replacement for the old overview function, then it is found under the video menu. I'm not going to describe every single aspect, but rather I want to give you a good idea of what it does and how to use it. So, in order to enable this feature, the part of the video we're interested in must be cached in memory, so we make the selection as tight as possible. If this does not trigger the caching, then you might want to go into your memory settings in the preferences and increase the memory that, that is used for caching. Then we go to Video Kinogram, and this is going to start the Kinogram mode. So in case you're familiar with the old overview mode, uh, you should know that this is now much more integrated into the playback screen. We retain access to the player controls, the drawing tools, and if we save to a KVA file, it will actually save the state and reload it the next time we open that particular video. The basic usage is to just drag the tiles around to adjust the framing. We can also set up the first and last tile and then use the interpolate positions menu to let it do some magic. This should work decently well if the athlete is crossing from side to side at a constant speed or if they are kept roughly centered in the view. To change the grid size and the crop, we go in the configuration dialog. Here we can tell how many rows and columns we want. The crop size defines what part of the source image we want to copy in the final composite. To get something a bit more informative, we can generate frame numbers. And by holding the shift key, we can move them all at once to a different corner of the images. To save the resulting image in higher definition, we can use the Save Image menu. This will ask for the output resolution, and then we can save it where we want. And to save the parameters of the kinogram, we use the Save Annotations menu. This will save everything to the KVA file. And that's it for today. Please let me know what you think in the comments. Thanks for watching.